Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. F is for forward to a friend. Let's take a look. When you're sending out your emails from Dynamics 365 Marketing, you can go ahead and you can add a link to the top of the email or at the bottom, wherever you like, and that can be for someone to forward that email onto a friend. So how do we go ahead and actually use this? All right, so we need to do a couple of things. First thing is we need a marketing form that it is a form type of forward to a friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the form that I've got set up for this. And what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and edit this. So if we put it into edit mode. And if I click on this block right here, when we add the form that has a form type, so up here, form type of forward to a friend, what we have is a forward to a friend section that we can set with different properties. So we can go ahead and we can say, well, how many potential recipients can we allow someone to actually set this up for? So if I click on the forward to a friend link, I could potentially send it on to four different people. We can also determine if we want to have a label for this, but if we do that, you're then going to need to go ahead into the HTML and change the styling of things just a little bit. We've also then got our submit button at the bottom. Um, so we've got our form, it's all set up, great. What we also then need to do is if I go and just get back out of this edit mode, we'll republish it, is once we've got that all set up, I'm gonna go into the form hosting area add a new form page, which will then give me the script that I need to go ahead and add into my website and actually share that on a page. Once we've got all that done, we've actually created our form. We're going to go into the content settings area and we'll go into the default content settings. And from here, what we can do is we can edit the content settings and whatever the link is to that forward to a friend, I can paste it in here and say, that is the page that we want to take somebody to when they click on that forward to a friend link. That's where we want to take someone. All right, so let's cancel the edit for that. And now if I go into my marketing emails and if we go into one of our emails, And let's go ahead and edit this. Now what we can do is within the text, a text block, I can type what words I want to show. So I can say I want to forward to a friend. Once I've done that, if I select it, I then have a section where I can have a link. And that link is I'm going to pull dynamic content from the content settings that we just edited. So if I click on the assist edit, we're basically doing dynamic content from the content settings record, no relationship. So we're selecting a field from content settings and we're selecting whatever is in the forward to a friend field. So that's what we're going to be doing. And that will then be dynamic to where when that's sent out is whatever's in that content settings area, that is what will come through. Now, if I go in here and I look at an email that I've received and I go to the forward to a friend, if I then click on that, that will then take me to this page and I can say, okay, I want to send this to and I could put in information. Let's use one of my email addresses so that I can actually get to it. Now I could set that up for multiple people uh, up to four people and then I can go ahead and I can submit that. So we then see the message that says, thank you for forwarding and that's it. Simple as that. So now that email can then be forwarded onto John Smith. So now here we can see that we've got the email that's been sent on to that email address, surveys at meganvwalker.com. I was able to access it. And whatever was put into that first name field, um, we can see here that it's now just forwarded that email and it says, John Smith, don't miss out. So it's a great feature. You might want to edit things a little bit in terms of um, making sure that when someone's forwarding it, they know that what they are actually forwarding and that it will populate. So 
I might want to be very clear and say enter their first name so that it doesn't say John Smith, it would just say John. But this means that you can have your customers actually send emails on to other people that will come through and also be personalized. So F is for forward to a friend. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.